In this video, I'm going to go over the top employers in Spokane, who's hiring right now in Spokane, and what skills they're looking for. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm Brian Johnson with Windermere Valley Liberty Lake. So the leading industries for non-farm employment in Spokane are education, health services, trade, transportation, utilities, and government, and Amazon. The military also plays a really large role here in Spokane. So these are the top employers in Spokane. The numbers are, they're hard to come by actually, because when I tried to look them up online, it's COVID really changed things. And the numbers that were just true just a couple years ago have changed a lot recently. So I did a lot of the research and this is what I found out. The state of Washington has over 10,000 employees right here in Spokane. They're dealing with the Department of Revenue, Department of Labor and Industries, Ecology, Child Support, State Pesticide Management Division, Department of Services for the Blind, the Bureau of Land Management, and the Washington State Liquor Control Board. They all have a presence right here in Spokane. The other big employer that I'm going to list right here, and they just grew significantly recently, is going to be Fairchild Air Force Base. They're now at about over 5,000, I think 5,200 people work on, on base right now at Fairchild. Spokane Public Schools has about 4,100, a, a little bit over 4,000 employees. That's staff and teachers. Providence Sacred Heart Medical Center and Children's Hospital has over 4,000 employees. And this is the new entry to the list and they suddenly came on. And that is Amazon employs over 4,000 people right now in Spokane. So this is an interesting little graph. I'll show it to you right here. As you can see, about 66% of all companies in Spokane employ less than four or less people. And another 17% are between five and nine people. So that means in Spokane, 83% of all companies employ nine or less people. I'll bet you that's across the board in other cities also that US small businesses dominate the economic landscape. I was really surprised by this next graph. Take a look at this right here. The top businesses by establishment type, there are 1,346 separate real estate businesses in Spokane. Membership organizations, I don't even know what that means to be honest with you. There's 1,250 established membership organizations in Spokane. Health and medical services, 1,218 of those businesses. And you can see other business services, heavy construction, professional services, those are what dominate right now in Spokane. This graph shows who's making the most money right now in Spokane. As you can see, chiropractors on average are making $134 an hour for 279K a year. Physicians, $133 an hour. Chief executives, $117 an hour. Family medicine physicians, $113 an hour. Obstetricians and gynecologists, $112 an hour. Pediatricians at $111 an hour. Psychiatrists, $99. Dentists, $99. And nurse anesthetists at $93 an hour. Obviously, we have medical dominating in our area right now for a number of jobs and high paying industries. So here's the top certifications that employers are looking for right now in Spokane. Take a look at this graph. Obviously, driver's license. There's 4,800 jobs that need a driver's license in Spokane. Registered nurse, there's 1,000 available jobs. First aid, 775. Basic life saving, 418. Teacher, 362. Cardiac life support, 240. CNA, 236. Security clearance, 212 jobs in Spokane that need a security clearance. That could be police. I'm not sure. And then number nine, you can see a um, commercial driver's license, Class A. There's 204 of those jobs. And then a certified registered nurse practitioner. We have 179 available jobs right now. So here are the companies looking for the most employees in Spokane. And I'll have a link for each one of the top 10 in the description below, if you're looking for a job in Spokane, you want to check these guys out. But this is the top 10 list of people that are hiring the most in Spokane. Let's go over it. Providence Health and Medical Services is a thousand jobs available. Spokane Public Schools has 400 jobs available. MultiCare has 360 jobs. General Dynamics has 271 jobs. Providence, that could be the children's division. I'm not sure how the county or this website broke that apart. But they have 264 jobs. Mead School District has 206 available jobs. Chaz Health has 176 available jobs. Department of Veterans Affairs, the VA, has 134 jobs. My wife's a nurse there, and I can tell you they desperately need employees. Allied Universal has 126 jobs, and Lowe's Companies 
has 108 jobs right now. So as you can see, we've got a pretty solid employment landscape right now in Spokane. We've got a lot of jobs available and the industries are desperately, desperately looking for people. I hope that helps and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about real estate, feel free to reach out anytime to me. Text me, call me, leave me a message, send me an email, and I'd love to help. Thanks again.